And this is from a young man in Louisiana. Mom, turn it up. Ping Pong Summer is set very firmly in present day 1985, the year before hip hop culture and rap music really went mainstream. It was still kind of weird if you would go to the mall and you'd see someone wearing red parachute pants. And to me, it was super cool. Rad Miracle is at that dangerous, heavy precipice between eighth and ninth grade. That year between middle school and high school is a pretty epic one, and that's when you go from being a kind of nerdy adolescent to maybe you find yourself and start becoming cool. We tried to put in Ping Pong Summer that sense when Rad is going to Ocean City that it's a sort of wonderland and it's familiar and foreign at the same time and it's just sort of a new, exciting place. Here's some money for you to spend however you want on this vacation. This is that first year when his parents are starting to let him go Ooh. and he's actually finding himself enough to make a friend and be social. Man, you can never have too many spoon straws. He's just kind of an average kid. He's not too social, I guess you could say. Do I like rap? Did you just ask me that? Of course I do. I catch the goo. Red, he's in love with break dancing, rap, ping pong. What do we have over there? Typical rich kid, racist, chauvinist, bullies. They got it all wrong. They think that their wealthy dad is what makes them cool. Step off her. The reality of Rad wanting to prove himself to his friend and his new crush, Stacy, there's Lyle Lace to knock him down every step of the way. You do look pretty dehydrated. Oh. And the challenge becomes for Rad to find the strength within himself to man up, prove Lyle wrong, and prove to the world that he is a cool guy, even though he may seem like a nerd at the beginning of the movie. Don't try it, Pop-Tart. Every 80s movie needs a dream girl, but there's a little bit of a problem with Stacy. She's got an addiction to funk punch. Is it pixie sticks? Is it sugar? We don't know. Are you okay? Totally. On my deathbed, I will say that there was no one in the world that was better for the part of Stacy Summers than Emmy Shockley. Kick his ass. Radical miracle. Ping pong is a game that you can be any age and you can sort of be good at it. One of my favorite shots in the movie is actually when the character reaches behind an arcade game to pick up the ball. For me, that's the kind of ping pong that this movie is about. Breakdancing just felt like it was something coming from another awesome planet. Wait, there are bones there, but how does it look like there's an arm worm happening? This movie was very different. We were dealing with child actors. Many of them had acted, but just never on this grand a scale. Combined with Hollywood luminaries like Susan Sarandon, Leah Thompson, John Hanna, Judah Friedlander, Amy Sedaris, Robert Longstreet. And then the reality is we're in Ocean City, Maryland in a beautiful Indian summer fall on location like we're at summer camp. That is where I grew up going on vacation every summer with my family. Suicide. Cut. I came up with the idea for Ping Pong Summer back in 1992. I was a senior in high school. I just had this idea for an 80s movie that I kind of just felt like, what if you combined a beach movie, like a One Crazy Summer, National Lampoon's Vacation, and combine that with the hip hop music and movies that I was watching at the same time? Boom boxes, parachute pants, ICs, family vacations universal feelings of insecurity followed by brief flickers of hope and transcendence and triumphancy. <laughs> Boom boxes, spoon straws, and Ocean City, Maryland. And some other stuff.